Hey, hey, beautiful people. It is the 21st of September, uh, 2017 at 4.44 p.m. Good numbers. <laughs> and welcome to the fall equinox of 2017. Boy, has it been wild since my last video at the full solar eclipse at the totality, the center point of the center point. <laughs> and, uh, I had um, uh, given a message right here at this place that, that I'm sitting right now just before I took off for, uh, for Kentucky for the total solar eclipse. And the message was we needed to join in uh, a 40-day focused event, just holding the waves, just, just neutralizing the waves. Uh, that would be going around planet Earth after the solar eclipse until the end of September 2017. And look what all's happened since. <laughs> we had Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma, Jose, which didn't really amount to anything but is, is pounding New York right now with rains. And, um, and, uh, Maria, Hurricane Maria, another Cat 5 or Cat 3 anyway. It was Cat 4 yesterday and then went down Cat 3 and they're expecting it to go back up. And, and uh, uh, wow, what a trip it's been. And then everybody talking about day after tomorrow, all these uh, um, evangelists, the, the, the Bible thumpers talking about September 23rd and... Um, the the astrological events that we witness all the time <laughs> we've we've already experienced this before and and they're up and saying oh because one person went cuckoo crazy it started a chain reaction with so many others thinking uh the world's coming to an end when really what's happening is we got Another huge gateway opening, just like what happened with the total solar eclipse, just like the Lion's Gate, just like, and that's, it, it happens over and over and over. And these are just portals of energy, gateways for energetic flow from the galactic center, from our higher levels of self that we can integrate into these physical vessels so we can hold more and more light. And every time we do that, just like the total solar eclipse over in the great American eclipse, <laughs> all these things that have happened has happened to America since. Well, uh, the same things are happening within our physical vessels as we go through our ascension process. In our ascension process, whether we're doing it through the activation procedures or we're collectively doing this through things like the total solar eclipse, the grand American eclipse, what it does is it raises the frequencies and that we have a spiritual distillation process that unfolds as that happens. All the, it's just like making steel, all that slag and the negativity has got to come to the top and then it gets removed. And then you go through a compression um, experience which we're going through right now and it's like a diesel engine a diesel engine works because it takes a vaporized diesel fuel and it compresses it to a certain point above 130 pounds of pressure per square inch and then boom the fuel ignites and it drives the cylinder it drives the engine and that is exactly what's going on collectively <laughs> but something in my last videos has really been coming back to me. See, a lot of times I'll make videos, yes, it's for you, but it's also for me. And I go back and I review the vid videos and I learn things from the message that comes through because I'm not thinking about it. I am channeling it from the field as I speak these words. That's why, you know, sometimes some things don't really make any sense right then, but later on you go back and make it makes all the sense in the world. It's just because a a perspective, a level of consciousness that you're observing <laughs> and, and can take that encoded message, break it down and utilize it for your personal experience. 
And what happened in that last vid, and I don't even know if it was the last vids or, you know, the Eclipse vids or, or if it was the calling on the 40 days for people to join together for the 40 days um, to neutralize the energies that would be occurring after the uh, total solar eclipse. Um, but what came through was about the people that originated from Earth. Um, they cannot comprehend a lot of those things that those of us who were star seeds or who remember previously ascending from other places in the cosmos remember where we came from because when we come here as a soul to Earth, we are in that wholeness and singularity, but to embody the divine masculine or uh, a feminine aspect, you've got to split off. And that original star seed holds those memories, but the one that splits off and fractalizes, the twin flame, the other part of the soul that many of us have walking around here on Earth, cannot comprehend those things about the ascension process that that we remember those things about star wars that remember those things about living on uh in the pleiades or on sirius or arcturus or andromeda or any of that they 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 can only relate to earth because that part of the soul has developed from this earth bound experience earth seed just like star seed and just after i mean it was probably three or four days after that message came out i saw for the first time somebody uh talking about the difference between the earth seeds and the star seeds and then it just all started making sense and like i said before in the previous videos you will receive similar messages as to that level of frequency and vibration which the individual holds and that's why groups of us come out with the same message all the time although we're not in constant contact with each other because we can attune to the levels of frequency the dimensional levels or like levels of the chakras levels of the higher self that has different levels of understanding and information <laughs> <laughs> and that's why so many of us are attuning to similar messages. What had been puzzling me this past month is why I'm seeing so many persons that seemed like very advanced teachers here on this planet. Deepak Chopra, um, Eckhart Tolle, uh, Muji, who they keep on talking about the neutralization of the ego and in, in, in getting away from identification of self and then the soul aspect. And it was just like, you know, so many of us are so far past that. We're, we, we've been playing on the galactic levels and the monadic embodiments for a very, very long time now. It's starting to rain here. We need it. Um... And it was difficult for me to understand why so many of those teachers seemingly so advanced were limited to the soul messages, solar system, solar sun, <laughs> and not to the galactic monadic um, earth ascension, <laughs> collective ascension uh messages and then it just started dawning on me it, it's all about the earth seed star seeds and everything just man it became so crystal clear after then to s those of us star seeds as we're talking about galactic and ascension it's a no thing but to so many people newly awakening or and, and, and there's newly awakening star seeds just like there's newly awakening earth seeds. But the new, newly awakening star seeds, they get past that soul embodiment very fast because that's part of the ascension process that they had already done in many, many previous lives. Um, that ascension process truly um, requires 
the embodiment of the soul, number one, and then the surrender of your focus on the ego self or allowing soul to run your life. You follow your intuition. <laughs> <laughs> and it's that it's there, right there, <laughs> that all of this became clear. And so, anyway, last night it just it started to hit me like a ton of bricks as these uh, fall equinox energies were coming through. And um, I I gotta close it down. Love y'all. Bye for now. Oh, let's see if this will work. I um. <laughs> I had to escape the rains there, and uh, uh, I've never edited a video yet in any of the videos I've ever done. They've always been, you know, what you see is what you get, and uh, this is the first time that I'm adding to um, a video with this video right here and now. <laughs> so it's now 5.01 p.m. on the September 21st, 2017, and we were talking about, or I was discussing, why there are so many people that are talking in such different language um, with what's going on on the planet, and, and you wonder why so many of these teachers who we have such great respect for are are talking about soul integration in 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 the the going through life without the ego, the losing of the ego, which is what you have to do <laughs> in order to get to the ascension process. The ascension process is shifting the consciousness out of the head into the heart and being here more than fifty one percent of the time, rather than being here and um, and so many of these teachers we feel are so you know pure and enlightened but it was like why are these messages so different from the starseed messages and it's because they're earth seeds <laughs> or they're they're working towards that earth seed um, ascension initiation it's just like Benjamin Krim, who channeled Maitreya for many years at the end of his life. And also uh, James uh, Tiburon, uh, Tybe, um, he's saying that so many of the uh, people on Earth, it'll take up to seven lifetimes for them to go through their ascension process. And I was going, that's freaking crazy. How can they, you know, what are they talking about? In, in what they're talking about is that which so many of us have been through so many times before and we don't have to go through that process again. But the persons who are, are really just now waking up, they have no choice because it is a process. <laughs> it's just like that car, that truck right behind me, until you can learn how to mine metals to understand what metallurgy is about to create tools and tools to, to refine that metal and turn it into steel as well as make the glass as well as make rubber <laughs> and plastic then um then you could not build that car it is a process and it's many people just are not going. They have not been through that higher level ascension process. And that, that is the difference between the earth seeds and the star seeds right there. It's not that, that star seeds are, are greater than or anything else. No, I mean, the people here, the, those of us that understand what's going on galactically and universally right now, we understand that... that Everybody, galactic-wise, is focused in on what's going on with the Earth Seeds, not the Star Seeds. The Star Seeds are the volunteers to come help the Earth Seeds get pulled through this. <laughs> and and um, we're, we, we've already been through our processes. And, and, and that also gets frustrating. It, it is frustrated many times frustrated me many times over these past eight, nine years, just like um, 
say Greg Braden. Greg Braden is one of my heroes. Absolutely. It's just like Deepak and, and Eckhart Tolle and, and all of them. Muji. Those are all heroes of mine. It's, but Greg Braden back in 2009 when um, we were getting the first 8,000 people to shift our consciousness from here, from the duality, plurality, ego brain and, and move their mind into the consciousness of their heart, um, heart math at that time was trying to figure out the scientifics behind it. And they were just coming out with it. Oh, if you can focus your meditation in your heart, then you feel that tridial field develop, that yoga bliss starts happening. But I kept on talking about ascension to these guys and they couldn't get it. Ascension is when it becomes a permanent state of being. You're in that yoga bliss all the time. You cannot shut it down. You have cut on the light switch of activating your chakras and it does not go off anymore <laughs> because you reached and anchored that level of vibration, that level of frequency. And that's the kicker right there. And so many star seeds go, especially once they get to there, they go, I remember this. This is home. This is how it's supposed to be. I'd forgotten it all this life. And the earth seeds, they're just now getting to it. And they've got to go through that whole process. Now, does it have to be seven lifetimes like like Tybe and, and, and um, Maitreya was saying through Benjamin Krim? I say no. Why? Why? I mean, what a waste of time. I mean, all you've got to do is focus on yourself. You got to surrender the the ego. <laughs> you got to get out of your head. <laughs> I hear so many people saying, you know, <laughs> advance your heart, but smart in your brain. Uh, why? <laughs> When you're truly living through your heart, then your brain is operating just like it's supposed to operate. It is the computer that literally creates the manifestation through the focus, thought, and emotion. It is the generator. <laughs> so intellectually, I mean, where do you want to go? Do you want to continue through AI? Okay. If you want artificial intelligence, then, then learn how to build the trucks. <laughs> learn how to build more computer stuff. Learn how to program it. But if you want ascension initiations, if you want to literally do all the things that all this modern technology does for us artificially rather than what we should be able to do and can do, <laughs> what many masters do um, here on earth at this time, uh, then you've got to get out of that head. You, 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 you cannot be in that ego duality game. You've got to understand what it's all about. You've got to understand how, how consciousness works. And, um, and intellect and consciousness are two completely different things. Intellect goes with ego. Ego is your focus on what you believe, be, belief, <laughs> be lie F. Every time you be that lie, you're going to make another F. <laughs> it's, it, it, intellect is very much tied in with the ego and the brain game in that duality, separation, plurality. Um, consciousness is truly tied to the wholeness and the singularity of the field. It is the all that is. You don't have to be going to school and be taught something in order to be conscious of it. <laughs> consciousness can make you aware of hey, I've got a feeling something's going on over here a couple hundred yards and, and there's people over there walking down the street. And um, so consciousness and intellect are two very, very different, different things. Consciousness is that that everything in existence, all that God is, shares together. Intellect is on the individual. And 
that is exactly where so many of the the teachers um, are uh, are focused on with so many people right now is to get them out of that brain game and out of the duality plurality and um, and truly holding space within the heart um, because the, all the earth seeds they have to go through this process they've got to embody the soul first of all initiation one is when you decide you want to return home when you decide you want to become part of source again to, to reunite with source again to 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 become enlightened or Christed initiation number two is a time period of staying and holding that focus so that your higher self knows that you're sincere about this and you want to get your all these problems that you experience in in the lower life vibrations and frequencies you want to be over and done with them number three is soul embodiment that's ascension initiation number three ascension initiation number four is allowing soul to totally control and direct your life which is where so many of these teachers the earth seed teachers are teaching <laughs> and then when you do shift from here to here that's ascension five such an initiation number five the activation of the heart chakra and then all the other six of the original seven chakras activate and then you have the 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 ascension initiation that was 11 11 right as i look down at that such an initiation number seven is when the chakras go vertical and the ascension column is formed just like you see painted over archangels or painted over christed beings and and it's that third and fourth ascension initiation that i was getting so frustrated because why are these guys constantly repeating this stuff and it's because that is an earth seed thing the star seeds so many of us have gone past that that ascension column and the the verticalization of the chakra system and we've gone spherical and um that's ascension initiation number eight and then every other initiation which there's many many more is just like that diesel engine from there on out your your merkaba your field that's your the parameter of your field you feel spinning is your merkaba the internal energetics magnetics of that field is your torrid your toridial field and it is that toridial field that when you shift the consciousness from here to the sacred spot in the toridial field starts activating it is when you fully have anchored it that it can never be shut off and you've achieved the fifth ascension initiation the activation of the heart chakra <laughs> and, and, and so the 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 star seeds we so many of us are are speaking through a spherical level that's a monadic a galactic level of initiation we're dealing with our galactic selves our integration of the monad all the other parts of us that are having experiences all over this galaxy in the here and now and really all over this universe because monad is not just dealing with just this galaxy <laughs> <laughs> we're in many other different galaxies at the same time but within this universe the activation that is the spherical activation is your galactic or monadic activations that's where the difference is right there that that was frustrating me so much between star seeds and earth seeds and then last night right in the height of the energy's coming in which was right at midnight <laughs> it was peaking out heavily all of this started becoming really clear as to what i was missing uh oh i hope that didn't stop the video 
<laughs> as far as what I was missing um, uh, with that last message in, in um, seeing, comprehending, understanding why so many of the incarnate twin flames on this planet, which are the earth seeds, um, cannot comprehend, cannot relate to those things that we're saying. And how can um, somebody who's never had the experiences of ascension, who doesn't realize or remember their past lives, or hasn't raised their frequency level to that point of receiving the same information, because they haven't gone through the initiation, the heart activation initiation process, that step into 5D they haven't done that yet how can until they do that and have that desire to do it which you have to have before you have to be tired of the crap before <laughs> you're gonna get to that point where you go yeah i want to focus in on i, I want to figure out what a quantum universe is all about i want to return back to to source to self i'm i'm tired of playing these these painful duality games in this planet that's just so difficult <laughs> and i want my magic back <laughs> um how can they even begin to understand they can't they can witness the magic that so many of the others of us um uh show in our lives and they can witness that but how can they really understand it and know that that is a permanent state of being something that you can be at all times if they haven't experienced it themselves and that's exactly why um this time of ascension those of us that are going through the pro process and bringing everybody else through because everybody on this planet will eventually go through this process <laughs> there are no ifs ands or buts about it <laughs> you will go through it or you will no longer be living on earth <laughs> your frequencies won't match that's why we've got to do this in front of people this time. That's why we we have to express the process rather than us having our previous knowingnesses and see and that that knowingness only comes from the heart. Thinking comes from the brain. Knowing comes from the heart. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of scientists that think that they know how everything works and then they find that their theories are shot down <laughs> it's because they think and they don't know <laughs> so this ascension is a knowingness it's it's a memory it's it's um it comes from the heart. It comes from the field. It's not, there is no if, ands, or buts. It's it just is the fact, Jack. <laughs> and that's, that's a huge difference between intellect and consciousness right there. Uh, you think something when you're in your intellect. You consciously, you know it. You you know what your twin flame is thinking or you know what your higher self is trying to tell you through your message and only there can you uh uh eh, looks like i got somebody pulling up behind me only there can you really um uh start relating to your next moves um that your higher self is trying to guide you through you have to totally surrender and allow your higher self to take over to be able to uh, be at the right place at the right time to, to you know hear those knowingnesses and know it's a knowingness and not something you're thinking. <laughs> it's just like where I had to be for um, uh, for the total total solar eclipse. I'd never been there before. <laughs> And it turned out to be the center point of the center point and turned out to be right at the center of the heart of Turtle Island, which is called the land between the lakes and the land in the center of that water island that's right where the center point of the center point was. Uh, that's in the shape of a heart. And that was just too freaking cool. It's very similar. That's Turtle Island is similar to a human physical form. And um, and I've explained that many many times now, 
And so I, although my farm just north of Memphis, Tennessee is called the heart of Turtle Island, this is the real heart of Turtle Island. And it's the land between the lakes. And it's right in perfect position in the Americas for the heart. So, and see, that goes back to um, what is happening right now. Since we could not get enough people awake and aware and participating, knowing, knowing <laughs> what we're here to do in the ascension process, then, then you've got a great American solar eclipse that's going to bring in it. It's, it's going to bring in that spiritual distillation process, whether people want to go through it or not. It could have been easy, <laughs> but <laughs> some people don't learn when it's easy, and uh, and so we got to make it a little bit more difficult until they can say, "No, nah, I don't want this." Because until you say, "No, you don't want something," then that's what you're going to get more of. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know what you want to create until you know what it is you don't want to create? And that's what the Earth Games are all about. That's that's literally it right here. That's what these past four worlds and Lemuria and Atlantis and all the crap that we've been living through since the fall of Atlantis has been all about. It's what you don't want. And um and to experience that total separation from source, you know, to, to be powerless or to feel powerless. <laughs> you never were powerless. But anytime you put that energy on the exterior of you, you're giving up your power. I mean, it's, 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 it's wasting your magic. It's just like, you know, so many people, they need another person to be in love with to feel that feeling that when you go through the ascension process, you're permanently in that state of, and then you find that, um, you know, if that person's not on my frequency sharing my values, then I can only handle so much of being around anybody. <laughs> the person I'm married to is me. That's what Ascension's about. <laughs> you got out of that duality plurality and you formed the singularity, the marriage of you in the heart. <laughs> and a lot of people just aren't ready to go through that one yet. But um, a lot of people are, and um, and I look back and, and see I activated through the person that I was shown and have been shown. And every time I ask this question, who is that person to me? That's the person that you split with. And when when um, when we were descending to Earth this time, I chose to be masculine she chose to be feminine and i remember and i can see it in my meditations it's almost like we're two ribbons of light like flags waving in the wind and i can go out and look back at her and i can see that that is the same face the same higher level of who she is um that that i know her to be but then we ripped apart we split and many times when we would make love, if, as we were done and staring into each other's eyes and sharing heart-to-heart -heart connection, I would see her face regressing back to all of those faces that I remember her as, that I knew her as in various times that we were here together on earth previous and um and it was through tantric sex that i activated and i was able to achieve those frequencies to go through the dimensional doorway the gateway and um i was able to maintain because of my love um for her uh that vibration that frequency that kept me in the ascension realm and then she couldn't maintain the the space and i couldn't ever understand why i was like it's just so simple first of all you got to want to do it and and she kept on saying that it couldn't be done and i was going i know this is what we have to do. i know it's knowing <laughs> this is what we all have to do and um and 
and so I did it, but she's an earth seed, and I'm a star seed, and that's two totally different things. How can she know, other than connection through me, coming through my heart, the consciousness that we truly both share on those higher ends? you got to know that you can do it before you can do it. <laughs> And you got to make up your mind that that's what you want to do. And anything you can make up your mind to do, you can do. <laughs> but you got to open your mind and expand your mind to get to that point in the first place. So, earth seeds and star seeds. Uh, what a trip it is. What a trip it is. And it's really starting to make so much more sense. Um those of us that are going through our process are, are experiencing uh, very much uh, an ease of life. Um, it's almost like you, you go through your ascension process and you go into retirement. <laughs> you start having fun. It's not a struggle anymore. You're like, what? I want to go out there and struggle in the 3D world. I don't want to do that. I've done that forever. That's what got me tired of doing that. And, and uh, I was looking for what I got now. <laughs> and, so, and, and so many other people are going to have to, they're going to have to come to that point. You know, the, the earth seeds are going to have to become star seeds because that's, that's, that's what's going to happen. That is what's going to happen. Uh, the energies, man, they are really, really cooking. It's interesting to have that message for the 40-day event, and I see persons uh, doing 40-day events right now all over the planet. There's 40 days of self-love, 40 days of focus on self, you know, People doing 40 days of no negativity, 40 days of focusing on what it is that you wish to manifest in New Earth and, and manifest for your life. Same thing that we've done for so many years now. And um, and, and then there's various uh, group meditations going on. It's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And I'm so grateful for that. That's, uh, that's pretty cool because that's exactly how we change this planet right there. We, we, we got to do it through a group focus. Yes, we can alter our individual life experiences through our individual focus, but we're here to assume this planet, the collective of humanity. <laughs> There's only one way to do that. That's to get everybody to participate, everybody to go through this process. And boy, is it happening fast. It is interesting to me how many of the earth seeds um, are waking up, but you know, I go fishing sometimes and I'll toss something out there like like chemtrails or ETs or, or something to you know persons that are are um, in that new age realm, you know, that come into natural food stores or, or new age bookstores or or into the um, that are in the yoga communities and uh it's amazing how many people still just i mean they might be awakened to to you know something's going on here on the planet but but still not yet awake to geopolitically what's really going on and how can they be anywhere close to being awake to the galactic levels that so many of us talk about and you know just play in all the time and so Somehow or another, we're going to have to get everybody through. And that's part of what things like the solar eclipse and all these hurricanes and everything are about. I mean, if you, if you can't do it one way, it's going to be accomplished another. <laughs> if you didn't choose the easy way, which we've been talking about since 1987 or the mid-1980s with the global meditations and stuff, you don't choose it that way, you're going to get it in another way. <laughs> We do this the easy way, we do it the hard way. It's up to you. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. I choose the easy way. I, I, I don't like the crap. I really don't like the crap. I, I, uh, I had enough of that long ago. So I don't even allow people that are in 
the lower vibrations to stay within my field for very long. You know, I'll choose to go or move them on myself. <laughs> uh, but I am so grateful that so many people on the same wavelength had heard that we do need to, to get the groups together. Um, now, that's interesting. Right after I put that 40 days message out, Magenta Pixie was coming in saying, you know, a lot of us just do it with telepathy. And we do. And there are many people that had seen my videos and trying to get me to join together with them in groups. I'm not really... Although, yeah, I'm part of the Starseed community and those that group of people, I'm still very independent. And I don't necessarily do groups like people perceive groups to be. Some people really need those groups. And then there are those of us that really are, our groups are higher levels of self. It's, it's, it's you know, it's that group instead of this group. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of people newly awakening that that they hear it on this linear level and haven't yet come to that point of the spherical or uh, ascension column, vertical level. And um, and I hope I don't upset people when I tell them, yeah, get your groups together, but but I'm not going to be a part of your group. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, the group is the collective and yes if we had some way to put together 7 billion people and their focused concentration at the same time that's really where we want to go but um that uh that we're that's going to happen so quickly or or we started nah, that's that's not exactly how this is going to happen uh we have tried that many times and we get shot down. Anytime we put together large group messages that are hitting the target so pinpoint perfectly like that, it's just like what's happened to me on Facebook ever since uh, uh, the last 40-day event message and then the two uh, solar eclipse videos I did. Um, there was... 9,800 followers I had and about 50 people a day are being removed from my followers list and uh, and that's Facebook doing that that's not people unsubscribing from my work <laughs> that's the guys that don't want the messages out doing everything that they can to stop the messages from getting out and that's the same thing with, with me doing YouTube videos. Um, the last YouTube videos on the clips, I did less than 1,000 people watch, but many times five to 10,000 people watch my videos. And, and there are only going to be the people that are going to be in that level of frequency that would attune to my videos that would watch it in the first place. But I'm hearing from people that they're not getting my messages they're not getting my posts unless they come looking for me they don't get it that's 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 the game we play right there that's google and cia and team dark and all those guys not wanting this information they don't want anybody empowered and so they don't want this ascension to go down otherwise they lose their their food source <laughs> their revenue source <laughs> which is the unawakened sheeples <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man. What a hoot it is. What a hoot it is. Anyway, this is the 21st of September 2017, and the 40 days ends at the end of this month. But really, we don't stop then. It keeps on going. But people who have been participating in holding that focus and in and, and neutralizing the waves, being that wave baffle ever since the solar eclipse, can now look back and say, yeah, that message was right on target. <laughs> I mean, you can see what's happened since that solar eclipse and know that this is just the beginning. We've got... There's a little thunder to accent that statement. This is just the beginning. We've got 
till 2024 the next major eclipse comes through um, that will crisscross this last one about 50 miles north of where I was um, in Kentucky um, that will be probably the midway point of this transition that the United States is going through right now we're getting ready to see some very very intense times if all the hurricanes and the Mexico earthquake and if all that wasn't enough with, with and all these other revelations aren't enough <laughs> <laughs> this is just the beginning and so really the 40 days it, it doesn't just end here it, it continues until we've changed this country changing the United States of America and Team Dark uh, removing him from power altering the control of this planet and um, and stopping the manipulation of humanity. I mean, this 40 days goes on until then. <laughs> and those persons who hold spherical energies now, you understand, you get it. Uh, many of the others that are still more linear, you know, just trust us. <laughs> You'll get it sooner or later. Well... Anyway, I guess it's quit raining. Uh, it's 5.36 and a good time to, to shut this video down. I, uh, I'm very grateful for all those people participating and holding the energies for the planet. For all the gatekeepers who are channeling these higher frequencies in and anchoring them into the planet which crystallizes the planet, reprograms. It's, I mean, those energies are the encodings. That is consciousness. That's the frequencies we talk about. That is consciousness. <laughs> and it's that consciousness that comes through our field and gets anchored into the earth and out around, around the globe to all of humanity. And um, two doves doing the wild thing. Sitting there watching Rose, I said, oh, "This is pretty cool." Yep, um, it's all about that consciousness and about getting it out. And that consciousness isn't necessarily in these words. There are encodings in every transmission any of us are doing that will help to raise the consciousness and the frequency of the individuals that downloads them and unlocks the key <laughs> anyway what a trip it is I have so much going on in my life right now it's just incredible I, uh, some people say stop and smell the roses but I'm smelling the roses as I run <laughs> I can't slow down there's just too much to get done in so many different ways. Anyway, I'll leave it at that for this video. Love you all. Bye for now.